Good morning guys, welcome back to Keeping Goals. It's been a while, but we're glad to be back. Hope you're well. If you're new here, my name's Connor O'Keefe. I'm a professional goalkeeper currently playing in Gibraltar and Keeping Goals is a vlog documenting my journey as a professional footballer, showing you guys the reality of it, the ups, the downs, and taking you along every single step of the way. Ugh. So it's been a while. We didn't have a Keeping Goals vlog last week, but we're back with a new episode. And I feel like today's episode is gonna bring you guys a lot of value. So, let me put you down. Set you straight. How's that, you can see? Good. So in today's episode of the vlog, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I eat on a normal training day. Way back at the beginning of series two of Keeping Goals, we had Fran on the vlog. Fran's a nutritionist and she talked about the perfect meals for goalkeepers and what you should be aiming for on a macronutrient level. But I thought it was probably time for an update, so I'm gonna show you guys what I eat during a day, a normal training day. I'll track the meals as we go on my fitness pal, which means I'll be able to show you the macro breakdown of each meal and my diet as a whole on a normal training day. And that should be able to help explain why I eat what I do. And it might even teach me a few things about things I should add or take away from what I eat on a normal day-to-day -day basis. So, seeing as it's first thing in the morning, let's get in the kitchen and let's get started on some breakfast, because I am starving. So this is breakfast. I know probably not the most visually pleasing food, but has everything that I need to start my day. I normally eat my breakfast between about half eight and nine so that I have a bit of time to digest before my first training session of the day. But as you saw there, what's in here is 100 grams of oats. I normally do it by eye. I kind of know what's 100 grams by now and who's got time to weigh it out all the time. 300 milliliters of soy milk, maxi muscle whey protein, peanut butter, bananas, and frozen blueberries. Alongside that, we have a pint of water and multivitamins, vitamin C, and general A to Z multivitamins. Putting that all into the MyFitnessPal app, my breakfast comes out at 928 calories. And as you can see, a nice even split between carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, which is what we aim for. The reason I like starting off with oats instead of things like eggs that you see or more kind of cooked meats or anything like that, I find that porridge gives me that long lasting energy throughout the day depending on what I have for training, how many sessions I've got to do, if I have a good breakfast with porridge and everything in it, I always feel that I've had at least one solid meal that can last me for pretty much the full day and then I will eat my lunch and dinner based around what I need in more specific detail. Water's obviously key. Vitamins are just used as supplements to make sure that I try and stay fit and healthy and not get sick. And normally I'd probably eat out the pan so that I don't have to wash up too much. But seeing as you guys are here, I'm gonna be polite and eat it off a plate. <laughs> I know it doesn't look the best, but it is very, very tasty. So give it a try and let me know what you think. But I'm gonna get this down and then I'm off for my first training session of the day, which today is just a simple light run, maybe a little bit of sprint work and plyometrics. So I'm gonna go and crack on with that, and then I will speak to you guys after the session. Oh, so, morning session done. Today was just a run, really, getting back in the swing of things. Been ill over the weekend, been a bit groggy start of the week so just needed a bit of a longer run just to get sweating it out a bit and get back in the swing of things I'm gonna do a vlog very very soon documenting my whole training week so every session that I do during a week 
So in that vlog, I'll go in a bit more depth about what I train on each day and why I train in that way, that kind of thing. But this vlog is all about what I eat. So after the morning session, if it was a gym session, I'd probably have a protein shake, the maxi muscle stuff that I put in my breakfast. But today, seeing as it was just a run, I probably won't have the protein shake. Go and have a shower now and then start prepping lunch. So I'll show you what I have for my lunch today, whack it in the app and see how the macros are doing. But I'm a bit sweaty, so I'm gonna go in the shower now. We've got the veggies cooking away. Very red, white, and green today. Could say it's the Italian flag, which would make Frankie happy. Or we could say that it reminds me of a goalkeeper kit I once wore for Europa Point, which didn't win too many fashion points. So lunch is ready, probably the biggest meal I'll have in a day. After my morning session I want to refuel, recover and I also want to prep my body ready for my evening session as well. So two jobs go on at lunchtime in terms of recovery and refueling but also starting to eat and prepare ready for the evening session. So there's a lot of food as you can see. As you'll be able to tell during this vlog, I eat mainly for fuel. I don't really cook for taste or cuisine. It's something that frustrates my girlfriend quite a lot and my family when I cook for them because I normally just try and hit the food groups that I want to hit and try and get all the macros that I need out of a meal so that I'm ready to train and ready to play. I'll put all the measurements up on screen now, but in this mix we have rice, green beans, spinach, tomatoes, mushrooms, green peppers, red peppers, and little turkey pieces as well. What I'll then do with that is put it in a wrap to get me a bit more carbohydrates. I'll add a little bit of mayonnaise and cheese just to increase my fats that I might need. I'll then wash all that down with, again, another big pint of water, not with the beer mat stuck to the bottom. An orange juice as well, just to help with my vitamin C. Probably a kiwi, and then a little Yakko Actimel type yogurt Spanish version thing. All that I'll be doing this afternoon is vlog work for example or other work from home where I'm on the computer so I've got time to digest all the food before training later on tonight. Aproveche! The number of calories for my lunch was 1173 so slightly larger in terms of calories than my breakfast. More important for me is to look at the macros in terms of proteins, carbohydrates, fats, salts, that kind of thing, making sure that I'm basically on track in terms of those macronutrients. The good thing with the app is you can track other elements and other micronutrients like your sodium, your potassium, your vitamins, your iron, your fiber, that kind of thing. And looking at that, the only one I really need to watch is my sodium because it says I'm close to the limit on that already. So that's something I might need to take into consideration going forward. In the afternoon, after lunch, I try not to snack. I'll normally just have my water with me, keep drinking that so that I can stay hydrated through the day. Apart from maybe a bit of fruit, yogurt, maybe some toast if I'm feeling hungry, I normally don't have anything during the afternoon. Today, that lunch has done absolute fine, so I probably won't snack too much else. Probably be making tea for about five, half five, because we're training eight till 10. So back to editing. Whoa. So, just woken up from my nap. Apologies if I'm a bit spaced out. Quarter past five now, I'm gonna make some food to have almost as my tea, my dinner, before training later on. Because we train eight till 10, I'm trying to eat at least two and a half hours before training so that I have time to settle. I don't feel too full whilst I'm training. The meal's not gonna be anywhere near as big as lunch. Just some pasta, a little bit of pesto, some tomatoes, a bit of spinach. 
We'll put that in the app, see what comes up in terms of macros, but I presume it's gonna be a lot lighter than lunch was. So final meal of the day, like I said, pasta, a little bit of red pesto, tomatoes, spinach, mushrooms, and a little bit of carrot in there as well. As I said, I aim for a bit of a lighter meal before training, but I am terrible at measuring out pasta. So as you can see, I've probably made a bit too much, but that's all right. What I don't eat, I'll put back in the fridge and I can have another time. 789 calories for dinner, so the smallest of the three meals. Alongside the pasta, again, another big pint of water, and also a little dessert, one of Frankie's chocolate chip muffins. Sorry, Franks. My weakness in a diet sense is chocolate and cakes. I don't care about crisps, don't care about chips, don't care about burgers, pizzas, any of that, you can leave it. Chocolate and cakes are my weak points. So what I try and do is give myself Wednesdays and Sundays where I let myself have a little bit of chocolate or a little bit of cake. Given as it's Wednesday, a little bit of a dessert for myself. Probably should have had it at lunch, but I completely forgot. So I'm not gonna let it go completely. I'll have it now. So I'm gonna eat this, get ready for training, head to training, smash that. And then I'll speak to you afterwards and let you know what I eat before I go to sleep. Lots of food in this episode. All right guys, so training done. It is quarter past 10 and I'm about to have my post training grenade bar. I'd normally have a protein shake after training. I'm running low on the protein shake. Maxi Muscle, if you're watching this, please send me some more whey protein concentrate. And because I'm running low on my protein shake, I'm gonna have my grenade bar for my protein, get home, have my last little snack, before I go to bed and that'll be it for my day of eating. So I'm gonna eat this now, drive back home. It's about 35 minute, 40 minute drive and I'll see you when I get back. Training done, about 11 p.m. I'm gonna talk quietly because people are asleep. As lots of you guys will know, if you train or play in the evening, it's often very hard to get to sleep and you're often quite hungry afterwards. So I always try and have a little bit of a snack just before I go to bed. And I just have a little bit of cereal, a bit of muesli or a bit of fruit and fiber, soy yogurt over the top and a little bit of honey. So the soy yogurt gives me that last little bit of protein after training and then I've got the carbs from the cereal and the honey. The only thing with this is you probably don't want too much sugar or carbs just before going to bed but I also have to bear in mind that I haven't been training for two hours, I'm going to be hungry and I need something to see me through to breakfast tomorrow morning. This is something that I find works quite well. It's still quite light, not too heavy before I go to bed. It's got the fruit in there, it's got the protein in there, and it's got some of the fats that I need in there to help me with recovery after training. I'll eat this, go and get some sleep, and I'll see you in the morning to have a look at the app and see what the macros are saying. Then no, no, I'll see you in the morning. So that's it for this week's episode of Keeping Goals. I hope that you found something useful in following what I eat on a daily basis, how I fuel my training days. I hope you didn't get too bored with watching me eat and cook food. I hope it gives you guys some ideas of things that you can add to your diet, your nutrition, things that might be able to help you with your careers. In terms of the overall results from the day, looking at the MyFitnessPal app, my total calories for the day were 3,685. As I said, I don't really count calories. That's not really the aim of this video. I know that I need to eat to fuel my training and my games. My focus is more on the macronutrient side, my carbohydrates, my proteins, my fats, making sure that I'm eating correctly the right amounts of each of those different macronutrients. Overall in the day, I had 156 grams of protein, probably a little bit lower than I should be having. I had 515 grams of carbohydrates and 107 grams of fat. Those values will differ for every single one of you. The main focus is that you're getting a good balance of all of the above and you should do extra research to see 
what matters for your body type, for your sport, for your level of play. But this is the information that I've picked up from years of working with top nutritionists like Fran in one of the first episodes of Series 2 of Keeping Goals, the nutritionists at Loughborough University and those working with other football clubs that I've played for throughout my career. Food and nutrition can be quite an intense topic to talk about. This video was just to show you the basics, show you what I eat and hopefully give you some ideas and give you some value to help with your own diet. If you have any questions or you need help further with your nutrition or your diet, make sure you go and speak to a qualified nutritionist. But thank you very much for watching this episode of Keeping Goals. I really appreciate your time. I appreciate your attention. As I say, I hope it brought you some value. This week's patron of the week is Lisa A. Lisa, thank you so much for your support. I wouldn't be able to do what I do without the support of patrons like yourself. So thank you very very much and here is your keeping goal shout out if you guys want to be in with a chance of winning patron of the week and receiving all the other benefits received by patrons make sure you follow the link below this video but thank you for watching let me know what you think in the comments let me know your favorite bit from the vlog put the time stamp in the comments so i know which bit you enjoyed the most if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss an episode of keeping goals and give the video a like if indeed you did enjoy it we'll be back next Sunday for the next episode of Keeping Goals, but thank you for watching and I'll speak to you in a bit.